Okay, hello guys. So this is the Realme 3 Pro, and in this video, I will show you how to fix the ghost touch problem in this phone. Okay, I will cover before and after. Okay, before it has a ghost touch problem, and after we flash the custom ROM, all the stuff will be fixed. Even though it's not 100% it will 90% fix all the problem okay all the step and file provide in my blog you can check the link in the description box okay so stay tuned and check it out okay yeah, hello assalamualaikum so guys we meet again with Tombop and it's time I have a realme phone this is the realme 3 pro and it has a ghost touch okay so sometimes it will act weirdly it will touch the screen by itself even though i don't touch the screen <laughs> so in this video uh, i will show you if we change the rom if the ROM is changed to the custom ROM. Will it fix the ghost stats? Okay, I also want to know because <clears throat> in the Realme forum it said we can fix the ghost stats by flashing a custom ROM on this one. Okay, it is tested in the Realme 3 Pro and maybe it will work on another one. Okay, so can see <laughs> sometimes we cannot touch the screen the touch screen and sometimes it will start touching by itself okay first i want to show you the <coughs> the stock rom okay this is using the realme ui version one the, the ghost touch screen is really annoying Okay, you can see right here. Uh, what pawn? Uh, damn. Okay, Realme UI version 1, Android 10 on the build number C15. Okay, I must do it fast because it will start acting early. Okay, so to unlock the bootloader, I've already show you on the video. Uh, you can check the link I will provide it using the APK and go to the Facebook mode to flash the custom recovery. Okay, so let's get started and let's hope it will fix the ghost touch. Okay, so let's turn off the pawn and let's put it into the Facebook mode. Okay, so this is the file and this is the step. Okay, I will provide the, all the files on the step on my blog you can check the link in the description box okay first thing to do open the powershell or cmd and we're going to flash the custom recovery okay just copy and paste the command and let's click and rec the custom recovery we're using the pbrp okay and next Let's do VB meta. Okay, make sure you are in the Realme UI one. And if you haven't, you can roll back or downgrade it. Okay, from the from the stock ROM without custom recovery, without root, you can roll back. I will provide also the file. Okay, finish. Now let's put it into the custom recovery and from here you can navigate using the fluma down and the fluma up okay just search for recovery mode and then press the power button it will start booting into the custom recovery okay then let's switch again there are several files that we want to copy the first one is the vendor. Okay, we're going to use the stock vendor C10. 
okay this is important because if you haven't flashed this one it will after you finish it will make your pawn boot loop reboot to the recovery again okay so for this file and put it into the internal storage or micro sd okay i already put it in here you can see right here okay this is the stock vendor c10 and we're going to use the android 10 pixel experience okay i also have already copied the file okay then next step okay don't forget to back up your email basement and other stuff i already do it and then <laughs> we need to wipe five stop okay five item delphic data cache system vendor flash stock vendor system and flash the custom rom okay let's switch again next we need to wipe some stuff so let's go to the wipe menu right here go to the advanced and wipe the delphic ah sh you know it's still a problem in the even in the custom recovery the ghost that still exists okay <laughs> so wipe delphic cast system vendor and data swipe it okay Okay, done. Now let's go to the install. Find where you have the file. Okay, uh, <clears throat> okay, it seems that the ghost starts starting the, the flashlight. <laughs> okay, go to the install, select the storage, put it in the micro SD. Okay, find a file. Okay, I put it in here. Uh, it's a little annoying, you know. <laughs> but uh, let's be patient, okay? We will fix this one after we flash the custom ROM. Okay, find the Realme 3 Pro and flash the stock vendor. Add more zip and then add the pixel experience okay the official one and let's wait the total size <coughs> is more than two gigabyte okay the vendor is about 600 megabyte and the pixel experience it takes about 1.5 okay let's skip this one finish now let's go to the web menu again Okay, seems that we have to turn on and turn off using the power button because of the ghost touch. Go to the wipe, format data, and tap yes. Okay, hit OK. And now let's hit the reboot system and wait until the Realme booted into the welcome screen. Okay. So, just a reminder, don't forget to flash the Fender C10 on this one because otherwise you will get boot loop reboot to the recovery again. Okay, now it's booted using the pixel experience and we'll wait. and now let's take a test okay let's test open some apps okay go to the settings about pawn 111 let's go to the settings i want to see the internal storage for this one for this rom i mean storage internal storage and it takes 12 gigabyte for the system okay Go to the settings, the proper options, and it takes 2.8 gigabyte from 4 gigabyte. Quite nice. Okay, and now let's open IDA64. 
clock is between 300 and 2.2 gigahertz okay let's test the app list detector it's all safe no expose no images and other stuff root beer <clears> hmm <throat> okay let's take a test for root beer i think it is all green and not rooted okay and safety net okay cts profile fail it is uh acceptable because the unlock bootloader and cpu throttle okay let's start the test again i don't feel any ghost touch but still we have a delayed touch screen okay let's put it uh let's take a cpu throttle test and put down the pawn before we can see in the stock room when we put the pawn about one minute it will start ghost that it will show on the ghost touch okay and you don't see any ghost stats until now it's a good sign <laughs> okay <clears throat> and the JPS is quite nice okay it's between 120 and 130 but stable good enough for gaming so no more ghost stats for this one but still sometime delay touch screen okay still acceptable better than before okay so that's all guys this is a tutorial on how to remove your ghost touch screen on the realme 3 pro see you in the next video and i hope you like my video if you find it very useful please give it a thumb and i also have lots video about routing custom rom and lots of fun okay especially show me samsung realme asus and other stuff okay uh you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you okay guys if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video and that's all Stay safe, stay healthy, and wassalamualaikum.